Hey there, welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and today I wanted to show you guys how to make this uh, little flower pot in IQ. If you hear a, ch a funny noise in the back, Leo just got a whole box of new bones and he is um, rather energetic about it. So let's go into IQ and start to make this little flower pot. So we're going to actually be drawing, believe it or not, for, uh, I know you never see me draw, but what we're gonna do is we're going to go so let's go into our line properties. I'm going to allow, I'm gonna leave this on the drawing tool, but I'm gonna switch it over to the, the bean stitch. Okay, so let's see if you can see a black. Yeah, you can see that well enough. In fact, let's do this. Okay, so let's use this vertical line as our, oops. So, so here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to draw the stems of flowers and make them look somewhat realistic. So all I'm going to do is kind of just do what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to shorten them um, so that they are, so that they look natural. Okay. So if you've ever drawn before, just let yourself kind of, and, and then when I see a jagged line there, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm just trying to get a natural line and that is not it. Let's see. See, that's three going the wrong, the same way and I don't want to do that. What if we go like this? Okay, let's do that. I'm kind of far over to the right, but that's okay. What I wanna do is to create something that looks just, looks natural. And I did put five flowers on the other one. I tend to like to like, I tend to like to use odd numbers when it comes to something like flower pots. Okay, so I'm happy with that actually. That looks, that looks pretty decent. Um, let's see if we change that to green now, if you can see that. Mm, sort of. It's always hard to see this when I'm actually doing this in um, in IQ. Let's see if we can change that to yellow and see if you can see it better. Yeah. Maybe blue, see that. Actually, I think that shows up pretty well. You'll see once I get the flowers in here, you'll be able to see that better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go with this basic outline. I'm gonna add my flowers to that and then I will add the pot afterward. So we're gonna go in and grab a couple of different flowers here. Our second level here has this flower and you can use whatever flowers you like the look of. Um, I like this particular little guy. And, and know that when you're working with another shape, the, the one that you've got in the background will actually diminish in color a little bit. It lightens um, and that's fine. You, I'm gonna add some um, First of all, I'm gonna make sure that this line property on the flower is not touching that line there so that I can apply different line properties to that, to that flower, okay? So let's add, we have four flowers we're gonna do. So what I wanna do is pick a couple that we haven't maybe used before. Um, let's do this little guy. And we've probably seen me use this one, but there's some real cute ones in here that you can use. And when it comes to what you think looks good, there is no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, there is absolutely no right or wrong, okay? It's entirely up to you. Nature doesn't follow any rules and you don't have to either. Okay, so I'm, I'm zooming in on this. Again, I want to make sure that the line property is not touching. So when I add a line property to either one of these, it does not diminish the other one. It doesn't take the place of the other one. So let's go ahead and add the fill to that little guy too. And we'll go in and change colors after. I'm adding these colors so that you can see the flowers. Okay, so let's grab another flower. Let's see what we got. I really like this flower. I'm, I'm always, always uh, thinking I should add another one of that one. And I probably will. Okay, so we're gonna size this down. And don't forget, you can use your rotation and um, and that will give you a nice natural look once again, because you're not gonna see things in nature that are perfectly straight, obviously. Kind of the rule of thumb is there's no, there are no 90 degree angles in, in nature, whether that's true or not. 
is debatable because once somebody said that to me, I started looking and I found some right angles. Point being, you can rotate these things and create whatever look you're going for. Now, if everything's perfectly straight on them, they might look funny. But again, who cares? Okay, so let's fill this guy in and back out and see what we've got here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add another one of these and maybe another one of those. Um, again, it's entirely up to you. I'm gonna size this guy down. I think I'll put this guy right here. And this is just, you know, whether or not you stitch this out, it's just one more exercise to get to know um, IQ, okay? So that you know how to use it. Um, and that means practice, practice, practice. So when you size things down, when you use your, and I'm not describing everything I'm doing this time. Um, you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna place a fill within this guy once again. Um, and then we need one more flower. So I think I'm gonna grab this one again to kind of give it a little bit of cohesion with the kind of flowers we're dealing with. And like I said, we're going to um, change all the line properties. So I think what I'm gonna do is lose a little bit before, so I don't have to erase this after I put this flower on, I think I'm going to erase a little bit of that petal now, or that stem now, so that I can just bring this thing down. Okay, so what I want to do here is zoom in on it and be able to see where I'm placing it. Again, it's easier to deal with the location of these things while you're creating it. And as you can see, that that is not touching, so I don't have to worry about that. So let's turn these petals green, or the stems, I keep calling them petals. Okay, and most of these are touching, I think, if not all, except that one. Okay, so now um, what we're gonna do is go in and add our fills in the colors that we want. So I'm gonna go in and grab this guy uh, in the fill section, and I think um, what I'll do after that is coordinate I, I'm probably going to use the same fill stitch on the outside color so that um, they are monochromatic. So let's go in and find another color that would be pretty as a flower. Let's do yellow up here. Uh, I think maybe orange would work down here. Oh no, I already have orange. I really like these little this green color for flowers. It's it's just one of my favorites. Um, in my favorite bouquets, those are usually the colors I like. Okay, so maybe let's do, let's just try this. Part of when you're doing these things, you're auditioning colors, and that is not my favorite. I think I'm going to do another green, actually, because I like them. Okay, so I'm happy with all of that. So now what I want to do is coordinate the outer stitch with the fill. So I'm going to grab that same green because I know I got two of those. I'm going to grab a red because I did one of the red. I'm going to grab a yellow. And the yellow, if it's not right on, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a difference there. Um, in fact, I'll even use it on that. So I'm happy with the way that looks. And if we jump forward into, I, into um, and when we, if we push to the next, then we're going into the, um, that will bring us into the editing portion. Now remember that once you go into the editing portion, you can't go back and use any backward steps because you've kind of let that go. And that's fine, but just know that once you do that, you've got to you kind of got to just start where you are as far as um, your editing process or changing these things in here. So I think this time I did this, I think I used this as the center portion of these flowers last time. I'm just going to do a circle and um, size that up a little bit, up or down, based on the size of the flower. So I'm gonna place each of these, I'm gonna place a little center point, and it just kind of gives it a nice little additive. Again, actually, see, see when, I, when I, actually, if I were to grab that, it would probably grab behind it, 
and it's easier to use the toggle switch when you when it comes to um, for example right now if I were to grab that it's probably not going to grab the part that I want okay if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense or not but it will if you ever try it and it doesn't work and it doesn't matter if it's totally centered now I am far from an artist so if you want to learn about how to create real landscapes or flowers I would suggest Bob Ross not me but I do know how to do some of the stuff on our on our machines so that's what I try to show you guys okay I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit just looking at it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say okay and then I want to select another um, Actually, I think I'm going to use that guy. I'm going to select a fill stit or a fill color that I think would look good in all of these. I'm going to grab my paint bucket and apply this to all of them. And if you don't like where your um, where your circle is centered, you don't have to use that. You can do something else. Obviously, I've got this flower's orange, so I need to put something different in that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I am going to go to next and see what we've got there. Then we're gonna go back and we're gonna add the flower pot. And what we're doing here is this is changing this into stitches so that you can see what it looks like in essence. Now, if we zoom in on this, if we zoom in on this, you can, you can get a good look at that. Okay, so we've got that and I I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go in and we're gonna go into our shapes again. We're gonna to go to the second category and I'm gonna grab number seven. That is, um, I think it's a cute little example of what looks like a flower pot. You can't see that because the the color is actually yellow um, and that doesn't show very well for you but I am going to keep a hold of that, relocate it, and then we will apply our fill stitch and our fill property. Okay so what I want to do however is zoom way in here and you're gonna see that you will see it now. What I want to do is get rid of these stems in here. Okay, so I'm going to grab my eraser. I'm on 20, which is a pretty decent, but what I want to do, size-wise, I'm happy with that. I want to grab my square eraser, and I'm going to go bump up right up to this flower pot line. Um, you can go through that so that you don't have any confusion as far as the color going over the top, the stems going over the top. Um, and if that is the case, you can do that. But what I'm gonna do here, these are these are um, bean stitches and they're gonna stitch before and then I've got, I'm going to put a fill stitch, I'm a, a satin stitch on the top of that and that will stitch after. So it's gonna go right over the top of that, just just so you're aware. Okay, so um, I think I did a white flower a pot and, and we're gonna continue with that because I think it looked pretty good when you stitch it out. Um, it's gonna disappear for you, but, but you'll see it when we shift into the next section. Okay, so I'm also doing a um, white fill. So let's back out of this and see what we see. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're gonna move forward. And in this area, you can change the width and length of stitches. You can change, um, you can add a, an underlay stitch, whatever you wanna do. But I think um, for this case, we're gonna leave it as we are and move forward so that it's not too long. Okay, I'm happy with that. So there you go, there's a cute little flower pot. Um, hopefully that was fun for you guys. If there's any stitches in here that you're not in love with, you can always change them. You can do satin stitches for your little stems there. You can add extra stems and give it a little bit of an extra kick. Um, whatever it is you want that, that you think would add to the fun. You can do writing, happy spring, you know, whatever it is. This is just gives you a basic framework of creating something fun for, for spring coming up. Actually, we're in spring, right? Yeah, we're in spring, just just became spring. So you've got your spring, summer months coming up and there's lots of fun stuff to do because I'm sure you guys are darn tired of snow and could use a little bit of flower fun in your life. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Please do join um, So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery Facebook group if you haven't yet and um, like and subscribe and share our, our YouTube channel, which is always helpful for us to know that what we're doing matters. Um, and then it's helping you as far as mostly IQ goes. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.